Welcome to Mojo Plays, and this is our list for the funniest Grand Theft Auto YouTuber moments. Uh, the funniest moments. For this list, we're taking a look at some of the most hysterical Grand Theft Auto Online moments that you can find on YouTube. Don't worry, this isn't a massive stunt fail compilation. That thing gets old quite quickly. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Racing to the Garage, Ian Tony's 1DA. It's understandable that so many players tried to charge into one of the few Los Santos custom shops. Seriously, when your garage opens this freaking slow, we can't help but be impatient. Let us in, let us in! There is such a thing as trying to rush into these things fast, and some bizarre stuff can happen. YouTuber Ian Tony's 1DA bumped into another player while they were loading into the garage. The result? Well, let's just say the mechanic got a face full of steel and rubber. Here for the magic touch! Ah, gotta love these GTA vehicle physics. Buckle up, Buttercup! Dead on us gaming. Speeding down the streets of Los Santos can be incredibly dangerous. Really, have you seen how insipidly stupid and oblivious the AI are? It's almost as if they're worse drivers than us, and even break the traffic law in the game. What really sets us off is when one of them causes our untimely death. Such is the case with Dead on Ez Gaming. They were just cruising along when all of a sudden... Dang. Oof! Now you hate to see that happen. If only there was a button to ensure your character put on a seatbelt. The Spawn Police. Christian V10. Stop running! Officer on the ground! If there's one thing most GTA players can agree on, it's that the cops can often be way too aggressive. It's almost total BS how they can literally spawn 10 feet in front of you, potentially denying you the chance to escape. Although how many players can say they've had a worse time than Christian V10? Just when they thought they were about to lose the cops, this nonsense happens. How even? Where did he even come from? A dastardly demise. Kukan Poikinen. I apologize for mispronouncing your name. I'm just going to call you KP, okay? Deal? Deal. As we've seen so far, there are a ton of ludicrous ways to get yourself killed in the world of GTA. For instance, explosive shootouts to asinine AI crashing into your car. Los Santos is the murderous city that truly never sleeps. But how many players can say they died from a car crash that resulted in being hit by a train? Well, KP certainly can, as it happened to them while flying around on the oppressor. Wow, it's just like something out of an old cartoon. Cue the old timey music. A true anime betrayal. Markiplier. This <laughs> thing is not stable and we seem to be smoking a lot. While he hasn't been known to play GTA, Markiplier has done a handful of videos that show him goofing up with his friends, the Lord Minion 777 and Jack Jacksepticeye. The best moment between these guys occurs when they're trying to steal jets from a military base. Oh, great idea, guys. Jack and Wade manage to nab theirs while Mark is left hanging in a smoking helicopter. And it isn't long before Jack decides to put him out of his misery. Ah, quit your crying, Mark. It was going to blow up at some point. <laughs> you killed me! Building Rolly, the gaming lemon. Trust me, in about 10 minutes, it's gonna look amazing. Everyone needs a car that speaks to them. Something that fits their personality and makes their presence known to other players. The Gaming Lemon accomplishes this when building the sporty looking car appropriately named Rolly. It's one of those 4-2 cars that happens to be the hippest thing in the city. 
However, it wasn't long before this cute for two car was trashed because of police chases, off-road tricks, and trigger-happy players. Hey, what's going on with this lag? Holy crap! Cars are popping all over the place! <laughs> what? What is this? Still, seeing the lemon get a kicker making his own car was entertaining. Besides, it lasted much longer than the ill-fated lemon jet. You were gone too soon, you magnificent piece of machinery. May plain heaven be filled with breathtaking skies. <sighs> It was a shame we lost him, lads. Reliable firefighters. Daviator. Hello, this is 911. What emergency service do you require? Have you ever tried calling 911 in a GTA game? Well, neither have we, but Daviator thought they could help with a crashed plane. Unfortunately, the plan totally backfired. After making the call, Daviator only waited a few seconds before a fire truck arrived. And then, this happened. Looks like the only time law enforcement is useful in GTA is when they're stopping players from committing even more crimes. There's no way they're this incompetent, right? Right? Well, so much for getting help. Great job, guys. Los Santos' finest, ladies and gentlemen. Oppressing the oppressors. Expert thief. Oh my gosh, that almost killed me. I don't like this. Oh! Oh my gosh, get wrecked! The Abrasa Mark II is, without a doubt, the most annoying vehicle in GTA Online. In case you haven't fallen victim to the trolls and griefers abusing this thing, the Oppressor is a flying bike that can be equipped with a missile launcher. Thankfully, there is someone out there fighting the trolls. And his name is Expert Thief. This is what we're gonna do, all right? Put that on the side there. One of the most hilarious videos shows him trolling the Oppressor owners by blowing up their bikes with explosives. And dear God, is it a glorious sight. <laughs> of course, Expert does it in all good fun, but seeing him take down these flying menaces makes us wish we had an easier time getting rid of these stupid bikes. Rocket car stunts. Vanos Gaming. <laughs> Bam! Yeah! <laughs> you can always count on Vanos Gaming for some incredibly hysterical GTA videos. From holding semi-truck meetings to hosting rubbing sprees, Vanos has always managed to make GTA look freaking nuts. Our favorite video of his, however, is where he and his friends pull off stunts with rocket-powered cars. BAM! <laughs> the boys try all sorts of insane stunts, like launching the car into the stratosphere, making quick getaways, and even attempting to ram a train! It's no wonder the videos have garnered millions of views. We can watch Vanos and his friends do ridiculous stunts all day. People can't drive in this city. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Mojo Plays, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.